of the love coming a big ship. And in the middle of the night, I got so foggy there was another ship coming the other way. And the ship up that we were on had to be anchored right in the middle of the ocean. We were there from 6 o'clock at night till, or from 12 o'clock till 6 o'clock the next morning. The fog hog blew all night long. Mommy. Well, Mom and Dad, they go worried, but I tell people, I was a young girl then. How old were you? We were, oh, we were around 20. And uh, we, we, we weren't worrying about it. We were just having a good time, dancing and just, just not doing ourselves. We didn't know the danger of things like that. Then we just were thinking of having a good time, that's all we wanted. But it was, it was a nice, nice voyage across the ocean. I would like to go again. Even though I'm older, I would, I still like, I wouldn't mind going, going on a ship back home. But no, they would know me now. Not too many years ago. That's a long, long while. And my family's all here now. This is my home here now. Right here in America. I liked America too. But it was nice to I had a nice home, so I did. And I was sorry when I had to come here. My mom and them were all... There were none of them living there, they were all gone. So I had to make the best of it myself. But my family, and I've got a good family, a very nice family. And I think the world of them, and I'm I hope they should think more of me, because there's no one of them I want to part with. Okay. Is Megan sleeping? No. No, she's listening to you. Hey. She's listening to your story. Oh. So you didn't come over here until you were 20? Hey. You didn't come to America until you were in your 20s? When I come to America. When you were 20? Yeah, I was I'm 20 years old when I come to America. All your brothers and sisters came with you? Yeah, my whole, the whole family come. All the family come. Uh, and who, they're, they're all living. Who were your brothers and sisters? Eh? Who were your brothers and sisters? Who were they? Who are they? Scotty and... Sammy and I had a brother, Alec, and he's dead and he's buried back home. And my brother Bill, Willie, his name was Bill, and Jimmy, Sandy, Alec, well, was, we called him Sandy. But they're all, the only one I've left is my sister Betty and my brother uh, Adam and uh, Scotty, well, Scotty and Adam are there. Scotty's still living? Hey. Eh? Scotty is still living? Oh yeah. He lives in Port Sun, Pennsylvania. But you lived in Scotland in all your whole life until you came over here? Hey. You lived in Scotland up until you were 20? Is that where you went to school? 20. I went to school in Scotland, yeah. To the a home for the blind, you know. The school I went to was for blind people. 
Were you born blind? No. It was carelessness. My, as far as my blindness was concerned. What happened? Well, the lady that they, I know these women have the most, had big lady to come and they, and she had been thinking and my mother didn't know it. And it was the wrong thing in the war to bathe my eyes. And that's what caused my blindness. Oh my gosh. How old were you? Hey. How old were you when that happened? Oh, I was only a young baby then. Only a young child, honey. Hmm. I was blind and I could see very good till I was nine or ten, I think about. I don't just remember. Oh, my eyes have just been bad on me here in the sack. Year or so, that's all. I could see a little, and now I can't see. So I have to be out making, be content we are. It's a little hard at times, but thank God I've got my health. I've certainly enjoyed good health, that's one thing. And I've got a nice home to be in. Where I am, it's not like uh, having my own home, like I used to have there in Selbyville. I used to have a nice home there. And then I remember the one year I was there, I had a at Christmas. I won the first prize at Christmas for the house being decorated. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. That big house by the drug where the drugstore is now. Eh? The great big white house. Yeah. You all, that was the most beautiful house in Selbyville. It's not there now though anymore. No. We used to always go and watch the Christmas parades. Hey. Eh? All of us little kids used to always go and watch the Christmas parades from your house. Yeah. <laughs> What was your mother and your father's name? Willie and Elizabeth. Surgeoner? Yeah. Were they born in Scotland? I guess they were. I think they were. But no, they were born in Ireland, I think. Did you ever know your grandparents? I think I knew my father's mother. I never knew my mother's mother, but I did my father. I knew her. And she was an old lady. She kept her own home. She was 90 some years old. And she kept her home. Got her own cooking and everything. And she wouldn't let no, no to do nothing. She did it all for herself. She was wonderful. A wonderful old lady she was. But time come for her to go, so she had to go then. I don't know if I have any parents. I don't know. I don't know if I've been back home or not. I may have some cousins or something, I don't know. Where did you live in Scotland, in Glasgow or Edinburgh? Glasgow. I could never remember if it was Glasgow. Eh? I could never remember if it was Glasgow or Edinburgh. I lived in Glasgow. I'd like to go someday. That was where I got my education. Right in Glasgow. What did your father do? Hey. What did your father do for a living? What did he do? Yeah. Well, when he was working, he was a carpenter. He used to go by the moon, walk to work. 
We're getting a car from things like we are nowadays. We walk so many miles to work every morning, back home at night. People don't know what they have to do, really. what you call work. Now that every, if they have to go to the store, they need a car. It's a problem with the whole country. Eh? That's what's wrong with our whole country. Yeah, it is. I'll tell you, it's been a blessing if it never learned anything about cars and things. I think people are better health than than you know. I don't think people have as good a health now as they've been. They sure don't live as to be. Eh? They don't live to be as old as they used to. What? People don't live to be as old as they used to. No. No, they don't because they pamper themselves up too much. So how'd you meet Pop? Eh? So when did you meet Pop? When did I want? When did you meet Pop? Pop Phillips? Where did I meet Ray? Right here in America. I went to keep out for a month when I become his wife. He was he was he married before? Eh? He was married before, wasn't he? Oh years before a long while before. How many parts I never go along though? I remember him. Hey. I can remember Pop when I was Megan's age. When we lived on the farm. Yeah, you used to come down. We used to live with you. Yeah. Well, he was good to me. He used to go around for me. My little Marjorie. You see, after all I've turned down there, I was really only one. Marty, Marty, it's you. I remember Mel was a little, uh, a little boy, about five years old. He was the uh, pop's brother of the child. And his brother and pop told him how his wife popped it. And she asked Papa to take care of Mel. And then when I go there, I, I took care of him. And Mel didn't forget it either. He wrote me a nice letter, and I was just saying, I will go on. Thank me for taking this good care of him, for being a good mother to him. Sometimes you wish your days are back, but I wouldn't be right. Things have changed a lot and then. But thank the good Lord, teach me to be all right. And I'm getting along good. <laughs>